In this tutorial, we will learn how to monitor aquarium water quality with TDS and temperature sensors. An aquarium is a receptacle for maintaining aquatic organisms, either freshwater or marine, or a facility in which a collection of aquatic organisms is displayed or studied. In a smart aquarium, it is necessary to monitor the water quality in order to have proper aquaculture. Water quality monitoring is the most complicated task as it requires the use of sensors and electronic equipment. And the water quality parameters include water pH, TDS, turbidity, dissolved oxygen, and temperature. But for aquariums and aquatic life including fish, the most important part is the water temperature and TDS. For an aquarium, the temperature good range is 25 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. Similarly, the TDS recommended is 400 ppm to 450 ppm for most freshwater fish living. This is why we will build our own aquarium water quality monitoring system. Here we will display the real-time value of water TDS and temperature on the TFT color LCD display. The best thing about the project is the use of TFT LCD display embedded with ESP32. The project is portable and can be used in many other water management applications. For now, let's move to see how we can build this entire system. The PCV board used in this project is sponsored by Next PCV. Next PCV offers totally free PCV prototypes, which means you can get 10 PCVs of 1 to 4 years without any cost. There is no PCV cost or shipping fee. You can upload the Gerber file directly and fill in the PCV details like quantity, color, and thickness. Then select your country for shipment and place an order. It's totally for free. And there is an exciting offer for new registers as you can get $100 coupon if you sign up using the link in the description. Welcome back again. This is the Gravity Analog TDS Sensor Kit for measuring the TDS value of the water. It can be applied to domestic water and other fields of water quality testing. This product supports 3.3V to 5.5V wide voltage input and measures the TDS up to 1000 parts per million. It has a signal connector board for signal amplification and a TDS prop that needs to be submerged in water. This is a pre-wired and waterproof version of TS18B20 sensor used to measure something far away or in wet conditions. And this can measure the temperature between minus 55 to 125 degrees Celsius. This waterproof sensor has the best performance and good sensitivity. And one thing to note, the sensor requires a 4.7K ohm resistor for parasitic power. The reason why we are using a temperature sensor is that a temperature parameter is required during TDS compensation. The TDS value changes a lot with rising and falling temperature, so you need to put both the sensors in water during measurement. Let's move to the project part now. This is a simple connection diagram with ESP32 controller. The TDS sensor is connected to GPIO35 of ESP32 and the temperature sensor is connected to GPIO25 of ESP32. I used breadboard connection for the testing and this is my breadboard assembly with ESP32, TDS sensor and temperature sensor. Let's move to the code part now. We require one wire and LS temperature libraries for ts one 8 b 20 the rest of the code is similar to the previous example code. We are reading the analog value from the sensor through ESP32 analog pins. And this ESP32 has a 12-bit analog to digital converter, which gives a more precise and stable reading. You can find the complete code in the website article. Then copy this code and upload it to the ESP32 board. After uploading the code, use both the sensor in water for testing purpose and then open the serial monitor. Initially, the TDS value will be shown as zero and then sooner it will show the correct reading. So the current reading that we are getting is around 340 ppm, which is the TDS value of normal tap water. In this way, we complete the testing part here. Now let's display the TDS and temperature value on this TFT LCD display. This is a beautiful 3.5 inch touch screen display based on ESP32 rover module. It has a built in 2M pixel OV2640 camera, which makes it a perfect platform for your ESP32 projects. The TFT LCD driver is ILI9488 that uses SPI for communications with ESP32. 
It also has a camera for applications such as remote photography, face recognition. While the camera is not used, you can freely use all these pins with the breakout connectors suitable for IoT applications. You can purchase this display from MakerFabs at around $35. Let's move to the project part again. I replaced the ESP32 with an embedded ESP32 TFT display. The connection for TDS and temperature sensor still remain the same. Here I used ESP32 Plus LCD screen with TDS and temperature sensor. The LCD screen will display the value of temperature and TDS level in GOS format and we will display the real-time value of whatever is given by the sensor. You don't need a breadboard for this, only a few jumper wires are enough. This is the code for TFT display which requires TFT ESPI library. The rest of the things related to GOS display has been taken from previous example project. You can follow the articles on how to electronics. After installing all the necessary libraries, please upload the code to ESP32. Then open the serial monitor. The serial monitor will show the correct reading of TDS and temperature. Now let's check the TFT display. So it has shown the two widgets in beautiful GOS format. The TDS value it shows is still zero but the temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. The TDS value remains 0 ppm when the sensor is dry and not dipped in water. So let's test it now. I have a glass of tap water for testing here. After dipping the sensor in water, the TDS value reached 340 ppm again. It means the sensor is working fine and giving the details of water quality. The TDS and the temperature values shown here are good for aquatic life and also for drinking as well. This is another glass of water which is from the same tap, but I have heated the water and the temperature has reached around 50 degrees. So in this display you can clearly see there is a sudden rise in the value of TDS as there is an increase in the temperature. When the temperature value increases, the TDS value rises. This is because with the increase in the temperature, there is an increase in electrical conductivity. At 22 degrees Celsius temperature, the TDS value was 340 ppm, but at 49 degrees Celsius, the TDS value reached more than 400 ppm. So for an aquarium, the temperature good range is 25 degree to 27 degrees Celsius. And while talking about the TDS, 400 ppm to 450 ppm is good for most freshwater fish living. The fishes need a stable environment that has the same level of TDS and pH as the original habit in aquariums. As I have already said, different fishes require water with different TDS. So this DIY TDS meter can be very useful for fish and other aquatic life. For my aquarium, I used some tape to fix the display and converter on the tank wall. Then I placed the TDS and temperature prof in the water. You can try this if you have an aquarium. This is very interesting. So all the information related to this project including the source code can be found in the How to Electronics article. If there is anything that you like to ask, Please comment down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.